back. So today I have a very fun makeup tutorial for you. It is this look that I'm wearing right now. I'm going to show you exactly how I created this entire look. And for me, this is a little bit not really outside of my comfort zone. It's just not something that I, it's not the kind of look that I go for on a daily basis. But it's really fun to play around from time to time. So it's definitely kind of a sunset inspired eye look. And I think most of the products, most of the eyeshadows that I'm using are all Makeup Geek, so very affordable. But of course, use whatever colors you have that are similar to recreate this look. And if you want to see how I did it, then just keep watching. First steps first, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna prime the eye area. And I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. It has a little bit of that yellow undertone to it, so it's just gonna be a little bit more brightening, which is what we want for this look. And next, I'm gonna go in with this NYX Infinite Eyeshadow Stick in the color Crystal. Now, I would definitely recommend a NYX regular pencil in the color Milk, which is a pretty common one on YouTube. This one was a little bit dry and a little bit patchy, but anything that's white to help brighten the eye area. For some reason, I'm going in with Makeup Forever eyeshadow in matte 126 chalk. It's just a really matte eyeshadow color. I don't know why I use the Makeup Forever and not the Makeup Geek. You could definitely use Makeup Geek White Lies for that. Now going in with Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream, just taking that on a Wayne Goss makeup brush, number four, which I really have come to love that brush. We're just taking that in the crease. It's going to be our transition color. You definitely need a nice transition color laid down so the brighter colors that we're going to lay down here in a second blend better. Now I'm going in with Makeup Geek Latte on the same brush and I'm just deepening up the crease area. So I'm just starting in the outer or on the outer part of the eye and then just laying it down and just building up the depth of the color of the crease a little bit more back and forth back and forth about halfway over for this one and then taking it all the way over once most of that pigment is laid down you guys know how to do it but yeah that brush is so soft and it's just a, it's a dream and it's kind of expensive but it's really good <laughs> This step is not really necessary, but I thought I would just throw it in here. This is Baby Face by Makeup Geek. It's kind of a neutral, cool version of my actual skin tone. I'm taking that on a fluffy Morphe brush, and I'm just blending the top colors out. You definitely need a really seamless blending action look for this really colorful look that we're doing. So optional, but I did it. Now we're taking Makeup Geek Wisteria on the same brush that I've been using telling you that brush I used it so much I like crushed that brush in this video <laughs> I'm just taking that wisteria that beautiful light pale same thing pale lavender purple and we're just working that on the crease and then above the crease so right in the natural crease and just a little bit above we're working and adding building as we go that's the best way to do a colorful or intense eyeshadow look is building layer by layer. Now we're going in with this beautiful bright orangey reddish color. This is Poppy by Makeup Geek and definitely tap it off, tap it off because you want to start with a little bit of pigment and build up. So this one we're taking in the actual crease and a little bit lower and you'll see that I take it down on the lid a little bit but concentrate the majority of that pigment in the actual crease and then bring it down on the outer V of your eye. You guys can see I'm doing it here. And this video was really long, so I fast forward a lot of this parts where you can still see what I'm doing, but I just try to make the video a little bit faster. You guys will have to let me know if, if that's okay. So yeah, just building it up and then continuing to build. <laughs> and you'll get the intensity built up just from those small little layers. So now we're going in with Makeup Geek Chickadee Eyeshadow, which is a really fun color. This is a beautiful color in the crease, just for like an even a natural neutral look, but I'm taking it and I'm really packing it on the outer part of the lid with my MAC 242. I love that brush, it's definitely a must have. There's nothing else like it on the market that I've come to find. So we're just building that chickadee on the outer half of the lid. And then we're gonna flip the brush over and go in with Lemon Drop, which is basically a canary, a bright canary yellow. And we're gonna take that and put it on that inner part of the lid and then kind of just stamp it over and kind of blend the chickadee together with the lemon drop. So going back in with Poppy, we're just gonna deepen up that beautiful orangey red color in the crease ever so slightly. I'm telling you guys, it's all about layering and blending. 
I'm going to sound super redundant, but it's so important with doing a bright or intense look like we're doing here. And then I'm just going to do some eyeliner and I was out of frame, but I'm basically taking my, I think it's an E06 brush from Sigma, just a really thin eyeliner brush in that Inglot gel eyeliner in black, which is so good and just doing a little bit of a wing and I kind of jacked it up like I do all the time. So this is my trick. I'm taking a black eyeshadow Makeup Geek 2, just kidding, Makeup Geek Corrupt and then my MAC 266 brush. Heavenly combination for this trick. And I'm just stamping over the black gel eyeliner to make it more of a softer diffused look so it makes it look like that's the look we are going for if you don't get your eyeshadow or excuse me your eyeliner perfect now i'm going in again with lemon drop i'm just going to kind of clean it up and brighten it up that is a sigma e46 brush shader in her corner and if you have smaller eyes and if you mess up your eyeliner a lot this brush is a must have you can pop it right on there and just really go in and brighten up the area without having a lot of eyeshadow fall out. And then to further perfect the lash line, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Trooper Tattoo Liner. It's just a black liquid eyeliner. I'm just going to kind of intensify the line up. Yeah, the line again. And then lashes, boom, Ardell Glamours with my duo Dark Tone. And then we're going in with Makeup Geek Eyeshadow and Corrupt in the same MAC 266 brush. And we're just going to stamp over the glue and disguise any glue that kind of shined, shone through. And then just blend your regular lashes with the false lashes. Take off the tape, the best part ever. You guys feel me on that one? <laughs> okay, so now we're moving on to face priming my face with the Maybelline baby skin and then I'm going in with the CoverGirl Outlast Luminous Stay Luminous Foundation. I have the shade 810. I believe it's porcelain and if you guys have watched my some of my more recent videos I was I'm self tan like currently as I'm recording this voiceover but here I was pale and I was trying this foundation for the first time today as you're watching on camera I'm not even making sense, but this was the first time on camera I was using it, so it's going to kind of be a first impressions, and I kind of like it. It's not very full coverage. It's not very long wear, so there's my first impressions. <laughs> Concealer, Urban Decay Naked Weightless Concealer, and then a little bit of more brightening with the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose. We're just going to blend it out, and I've been really liking that Real Techniques Contour Brush for blending out highlight under eyes and concealer. We're going to set everything with the Secret Brightening Powder from Laura Mercier and the Real Techniques Setting Brush. Just roll a nice thin layer on there. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 110 Porcelain. And I actually really, really love that powder. I want to get it in a darker shade to accommodate my self-tan skin. So going back in, we're going to work on the lower lash line. We're taking Wisteria and just a little short shader brush. I believe that one is like a smudge detailer brush from Sedona Lace, I really love it. And just building up the intensity on the outer half of the lower lash line. And then we're going in and just adding a little bit more. This is why that Wayne Goss brush is so perfect. It does a lot of the work for you. So I'm just taking the Wisteria and just ever so slightly just dusting a little bit over top of the transition work. And then I'm not taking any additional product there, but I am just smoking out what was left on the brush. And then going in with Lemon Drop on that same Sedona Lace brush. I'm going to put that on the inner half of the lower lash line just to really brighten it up and kind of layer over the purple because we really want to have a nice diffused look. And then for the middle part of the lower lash line color, we're taking Poppy and we're just layering that over. You want to line that color up, the Poppy, line it up with the iris or the colored part of your eye. And it's just a really pretty like a diffused look. And then taking Beaches and Cream and that same Wayne Goss brush, we're just ever so slightly dusting it under there and just kind of blending everything out really softly. So there's no harsh lines. It's all like a nice gradient of a sun, summer sunset look. <laughs> and then I'm taking this purple color from Ardent CN and just putting that on the outer half of the lower waterline. And then I'm going to go in with the gold version, which is so fun. It's like a yellowy gold. And I'm going to hit that on the inner corner or the inner half of the waterline just to have some really fun mix it up with different colors, different layers. And it's seriously such a beautiful gradient effect. And then Makeup Geek White Lies. It's just a matte white color for a highlight, inner corner and brow bone highlight. This is an unnecessary step, but I thought it was fun. I thought I would use it. I'm taking Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in Fortune Teller, which is just a bright canary yellow foiled gold. And I'm just popping that on the inner corner 
and then bringing it down a little bit in the tear duct area, just add a little something extra, totally not necessary, but I did it. <laughs> and then lower lash line mascara, of course. And now we're bronzing the skin. And this is a really important step, especially because my complexion is super fair and we're doing a lot of color on the eyelid. So to make it look like I'm not like sickly, bronzing is a must. And I'm using my Holy Grail pale version of a bronzer for me. It's the Bobbi Brown Golden Light Bronzer in the Delium Tools 992 bronzer brush. So I'm just hitting that, working it into the, the hairline. You don't want a white line where your paleness leaves off and then your hair starts. You know what I'm saying? So get it in there. And then I'm taking a little W motion. That's going to be a really natural effect. It's going to look like that's legit sunshine that's shown on your face with the W motion. Now for blush, I'm using the NYX HD blush in the Soft Smoke. Soft Spoken, excuse me. It's just a really pale peachy pink really natural and goes with the look perfect. And then highlight, because we have a lot going on with the eyes, I just wanted more of a, I mean, a natural highlight, if you can even imagine a natural highlight. So it's the A Cosmetics Hello Light Powder, and I really love it, and that's a Morphe Brushes brush. And then for lips, I'm using the Jordania Easy Lip, Easy Lip Liner, Retractable Liner in Pink Love, and I was going for a really dusty coral rose color with the lips, so I did layer to achieve that. So for two lips, I did layer the NYX High Voltage Lipstick in Tiara, which is this one. And then I also threw on some of the Mirage, which is more of a nudie color. And I focused it in the center to add more dimension and just build on that color. And that is the look, you guys. All right, guys, so that is the look. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so, so fun to create and to just come up with this beautiful sunset inspired look. It was just it was so fun. So let me know what other videos you guys would like to see below. Thank you as always for watching. Have a great day or night. I'll see you later. Bye.